Hey guys, what is up? It is Shakes. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and if you're not, I hope this video changes that. Because today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to increase your FPS in Dota 2 significantly. Now, despite the fact that Dota 2 is a little bit of an older game, and it also is 2D, it still has some pretty nice looking graphics, so that can be kind of hard to run, even on a decent PC. And also, you're going to want to have as much FPS as possible, just so you never miss something happening, because, you know, in teamfights, it drops dramatically, and you want to be able to see every single thing that's happening just as it happens in the game. So, the first thing we're going to do is open up our browser. You guys are already in your browser because you're watching YouTube, so that, ignore that tip. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the Razer Game Booster. I'm going to have it in the description so you don't actually have to do this. Just go to the site. You're going to be here. It's going to be in the description. Just click download now and it should download right down here. It might ask you if you want to, you know, have notifications. Just block that if it asks if you want to have notifications because we don't, we're not going to be coming back to the site. And here we're going to click the file in the bottom left corner, then click yes, and then it's going to start opening up. Once to open up, just make sure this is the only one that's checked. You don't really have to check this because it's not important. If you want to change your install location, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it to my, uh, my program files. I like to save my stuff there. Then once you have everything checked out, it's in your install location, you're only having this checked. Click install. It should install pretty quickly despite it being 200 megabytes, but it does install really quickly. I don't even know why it installs so quickly. Maybe it has to do with being, you know, based on optimizing your game, so it also optimizes your internet speeds. I don't know. I don't really care. We just want to make sure it works as intended. So once it's finished downloading, it's going to install. You don't have to sign up or log in. You just want to continue as a guest because that just, it, sh it wants you to make an account, but you don't have to. So we're just going to continue as a guest, then close this out. And this is where we're going to be able to do whatever we want. Here's where all your games are going to be. Well, maybe not all of your games. As you can see, my Dota 2 isn't here, despite the fact that I have the game downloaded. I don't know exactly why it does this, but it doesn't really matter because what we're going to want to do is we're going to actually just go to boost and then click boost now. It's going to be releasing some RAM, so it's going to be speeding it up, making sure the background processes of, you know, our computer are staying background and they're not taking up too much space so we can make sure all of it goes into Dota. You can go to Steam, then open up the game, and it should be a little bit faster. Now once you have the game open, it should run a little bit faster. It won't be as maybe as fast as you want it to be because it just cleared your RAM and suppressed your background processes so Dota can take more processing power to give you more FPS. But if it still isn't as high as you want it, I'll show you what you can do next. Just go to play Dota, we'll find a game alone and solo, easy. We're just going to start a bot match and I'll show you what to do next. I'm just going to go with Gyrocopter. It, it doesn't matter who you choose, just hop in to the match. You can skip ahead and once we're into the game, I'll show you what changes we have to make. Now once you're here, just go into the settings and then go to video. Change it from use my monitor's current resolution. Change it to use advanced settings. Change this to as low as possible, which is 720p. Uh, make it full screen, but, you know, I'm going to keep it windowed just for the sake of, you know, being easy to view on this video. And then over here, for use basic settings, make it from best looking to fastest, because we're going to want to have as much speed as possible. And after you do that, the final thing you can do is I would recommend putting it to DX9. You can also change the Vulcan that can, you know, that requires an additional DLC installation. But, you know, that might be a little bit more optimized, but for me personally, it hasn't really given me as much FPS as DX9, so I'd recommend going with that. And also because you don't have to download anything, so I think it's the best move if you want to have the highest FPS. After you've done this, just click apply, and the game might not look quite as nice as it did before. As you can see, I am white. As you can see, my computer is almost entirely white. There might be a few visual glitches like this, but overall you're going to have way, way more FPS. If you're having mild frame problems before, by now you probably won't have any, but if your FPS still isn't as high as you'd like it for maximum gaming performance, there is one more trick I have up my sleeve. Alt-tab out of the game and then go to your task manager. And once you're here, find Dota 2 and then click the go to details option. Once you find it in details, you could also just go over to the tab if you want to look for it there, but it's a long list, so I'd recommend just doing as I did. But once you have found Dota there, right-click it and set it to high. Make sure not to set it to real-time because that can mess up other things in your computer. So just set it to high so it'll have a higher priority over other things in your PC. So it will demand more processing power and therefore lend you with more FPS to play with. Anyway, after you've done this, your game might look really ugly, it might look really stupid, you might have a fully white gyrocopter, but overall it's worth it for the massive FPS boost that you will get. I mean, what's more important in gaming? Having a game that looks nice, or a game that doesn't run like a PowerPoint slideshow? If you followed all the tips that I showed you, then it should look a little bit less like a PowerPoint presentation, and more like an actual game. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like if this did indeed help you, as it helps me out massively. Comment if you have any questions or suggestions or whatever. I read all of them, and I reply to all of them. And yeah, subscribe, because, uh, well...
we'll, we'll just subscribe. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If that isn't a good enough reason to subscribe, then I don't know what is. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. And uh, yeah, peace.